welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen and I am clearly barefaced today. And today I am going to be doing a tag video. I was tagged by Crystal, aka, uh, well, her YouTube name is Jador Fashion XOXO. Yes, I will write it right here like I always do. She tagged me to do the 50-50 tag. Now, for those of you who don't know Crystal, you should definitely go check out her channel. She's absolutely, she's so lovely. She's like just personable. She's very personable and very kind and I really love her videos. She's super super sweet girl. You should definitely go and check her out. She does unboxing videos. She does makeup tutorials. Um, she does a couple like DIY type of you know videos here and there. She's just a super beautiful girl and you should definitely go check her out and I was so excited when she tagged me. Anyway so now that you uh, I have got my intro out of the way and I look like a janky mess I'm gonna go ahead and start putting on my fa or my makeup. So what this tag is, is you do 50% of your face with makeup and then leave the other half without makeup. Um, typically you draw a line down the middle, but I'm going to go and see The Hobbit tonight, so I don't wanna do a line. <laughs> but I will be doing half of my face, and then depending on whether or not I wanna look like an orc, I might just leave it with half of my face done, so we'll see. So let's go ahead and get started. Today I'm going to be using the Outlast, or CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation. Um, this is in the color 810. There is one, one more that is lighter than this, but I think they're about the same shade, just different undertones. So this one is a tad bit more yellow undertoned, um, so I'm going to be using that today. And I'm going to be using my round Kabuki, um, Kabuki brush from Lamora. Just going to take some of that and just put it on my face. I've got some major breakouts going on right now. Don't you just love being a girl sometimes? If that doesn't tell you too much about my life, I don't know what will. So I used to use the 805 shade um, because it was the lightest shade, but it would just turn like this weird ashy pink color on me because it was like super pink undertoned and I'm definitely like not pink. I'm definitely not like super yellow either. I'm a neutral, but if I were to lean anyway, I would be leaning more yellow than, than I would pink. So I decided to go with the 810. This is definitely one of my favorite drugstore um, foundations. So I'm going to use a little bit of concealer under my eye. I'm going to be using the Collection 2000. Um, this isn't available in America. <laughs> America. My cousin got this when she visited, um, the UK. So, hey Crystal, hey! I absolutely love this and I really wish they sold Collection 2000 in America because this, I mean, this is the only thing I have, but I absolutely love it, and it's in the number fair one. Just a little brush here, and I'm going to dip it, or take some of my e.l.f. high definition under eye powder, and just... Usually I would use a different brush for this, but all my brushes are dirty because I'm lazy. All right, while that's setting, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my eyes, and I'm gonna try a different eye look today. I'm gonna try something that I've never done before. I'm gonna try a green. I got some of the Makeup Geek shadows, so I'm going to be using this one here. Um, what is this called? Jester. It's Jester. Jester, is that a word? Am I saying that right? I don't know. It is a nice green color, and these are seriously like amaze balls. So this is gonna really clash with my shirt because I'm wearing like a blue teal shirt. Uh, I don't care. So I'm gonna be using this all over the lid. Uh, but first I need to prime. So I'm gonna prime my eyelids. I don't know with what though. I'm gonna prime with this, Too Faced Shadow Insurance. To take a little bit of this uh, vanilla-esque color and just put it on the inner part of my lid, like the inner third maybe, and then right underneath the brow bone as well. This is matte, and I can never say the late name, so I'll put it down. I'll annotate it somewhere. All right, here we go. I'm gonna take the green on just a flat shader brush. Woo, I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous, it's just makeup. So 
so there's a green all over the lid not something I'm used to but that's okay I'm excited to play around so let's see now I'm going to go in with a just brown color in the crease I am going to use creme brulee which is this color right here and this is by Makeup Geek as well just taking that on a nice uh, fluffy brush and just running that through the crease I think I want to take a little bit of shimmer shimmer just on my um, ring finger and put that right on the inner tear duct and then I think I want to go I'm gonna take Chester oh it's so soft Ooh, put that back down and I'm gonna go just along probably the first um, like two-thirds of my eye and then the outer corner I'm going to go along with the creme brulee, the light tan color. I'm just I'm going to take a little bit on my finger and pack a little bit more color on. That does so much better than putting it on with a brush. So much better. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of brown liner. This is Pacifica brown liner in fringe. Got this in an Ipsy bag. So I'm just going to put this on the very outer corner um, of or my the very end of my outer lash line. Or my lash line. My outer lash line. What am I talking about? kind of looks like a Ninja Turtle. Brown and green. I'm going to take that shader brush that we were using before with Jester, the green color, and just bring it up a little bit farther into my crease. I want it to be mostly green with just the edges blended out with the brown. I'm going to go ahead and uh, curl my lashes and all that jazz. Because I'm wearing a bolder shadow, I kind of want to go easy on the brows. So just going to brush them out and use a little bit of product through those. I'm going to take my um, the Enlight Enlightenment palette from Bare Minerals and I just tap a little bit of each shade onto the brush and run them through my brows. I like using um, I like using this duo now because my hair is a little bit more red and so it pulls a little bit more red on my brows which I like. I feel like it matches my hair color a little bit better. back to the face I'm going to use a little bit of elf high definition powder and I'm just gonna put that a little gonna put a little bit of that on a fluffy brush I'm gonna take the contour from my Tarte Amazonian Rainforest after dark palette um, I like this one just because it is so light so I'm just gonna take and it's matte so I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of that and contour. I'm actually going to use uh, Exposed by Tarte. Well, do I want to use this? Yeah, Exposed by Tarte. I'm going to take that on a blush brush. Be super careful because these are very pigmented. I'm just going to lightly blush that on blush that brush that on my cheeks I want to do a pretty natural lip so I am going to go in with um, L'Oreal's is this L'Oreal yeah L'Oreal's Ferris nude does have the L'Oreal smell but I actually kind of like it hmm Do I want to add lashes? You know what? I think I'm going to add lashes. So I'm just going to add some uh, Demi Wispies from Ardell. Alright, 
so there is my completed look. There is my uh, green eyeshadow, which I have never worn green on my eyes before, so that's fun. Um, with some lashes. So, um, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to go ahead and tag a couple people. I will list them here and in the down bar below. Holy cow, for some reason, that sentence was really hard for me to say. <laughs> anyway, so, um, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my face. That way I can go and watch The Hobbit. Um, we can say that my green eyeshadow was inspired by the hobbit nothing in the hobbit is actually green except for maybe like the shire orc skin if you guys liked this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel that way you can see when i upload some videos i love your faces oh so very much and please stay safe this week and i will talk to you guys later bye bye